When it comes to crime, you might think there are some places that should be off limits. Yeah, church is probably high on that list, but police say they that didn't stop a couple of teens from vandalizing one. Major damage over at St. Michael, the Archangel, the 31st Avenue, and Deer Valley site is where Steve Koo shows us just how far those vandals went. It has taken a loyal Christian community 10 years to raise this cross in North Phoenix, but it took vandals only minutes to destroy most of the inside. Broke 19 windows. They tore up personal stuff. St. Michael the Archangel church leader Jim Lozanowski and his fellow worshipers are having their faith tested. One week ago, police say teenagers broke into God's house and trashed the place. <sighs> Very bad. As if it couldn't get any worse, the vandals came back to deal even more damage. Everything is torn up, the plumbing is torn apart. Shattered windows outside and indoors, some of the walls are stripped down to just the wood frames underneath. Jim tells us even sacred religious symbols and art were destroyed. Phoenix police showed up and detained two 14-year-olds around 11 o'clock at night. They think the teens were only inside the church since 10.30. That's 35 minutes they did damage the two adults can do in two days. The Orthodox Christian community spent a decade scraping together hundreds of thousands of dollars to build their beloved church. It was nearly finished before the attack. Jim asked one of the teens why he'd want to cause such harm to his church and its members. He didn't say a word. I feel like I've been violated deeply and it's going to last a lifetime. Please help us. Jim says it will take a saint to help them restore St. Michael's. In Phoenix, I'm Steve Kouge, ABC 15 News.